Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got another autumn set. You seem to love the last autumn set we did so I thought I'd record another one and we're going to put some cheetah print in this one as well just to jazz it up a little bit. So the first thing I've done is sanitise both our hands and put on my gloves. Now we're going in and lifting the cuticle from the nail plate using this cuticle drill bit. I'm not sure what it's called but I'll leave the link in the description box below. And I go in with the rotation going one way, do one side of the nail and then switch the rotation and do the opposite side. And all that drill bit does is lift the cuticle up off the nail bed and also removes any dead cuticle and dead skin that is on the nail. Next, I'm going to go in and clip away at the dead cuticle, get rid of it. These aren't the best clippers and I keep forgetting to order some more. I really need to. Then I'm just going in with a nail file. All my clients have their own nail files in a little pack. Um, this is a 100 grit nail file and I'm just tidying up the natural nails. I look like I'm being really rough, but I'm not, I promise. It's because it's sped up. <laughs> and then I'm just going in and buffing over the surface of the nail to get rid of the shine. And I'm going to do exactly the same to every single nail. I hope everyone is well. I'm so happy that it is now officially autumn because it's my favourite time to do nails. I actually think I prefer it over Christmas. Ooh, can't believe I just said that on here, but it's true. I just love autumn nails. I love the colours, everything. I just love autumn. Um, yeah, but you all seem to love the last video, so thank you so much for that. I've had so many lovely um, comments and messages. So that made me very happy. So I thought I'd do another one for you all. And hopefully you like this one as well. This one doesn't have leaves, but it does have autumnal colours and glitters. And it has a bit of cheetah print as well, which I loved. But yeah, so I'm just buffing over all of the nails and prepping them ready to sculpt out some beautiful long nails. So once I cleaned up the nails, I then went ahead and applied my nail forms. These are the Nail Nails Nail Forms. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And I'm just going to extend that free edge using CJP's Crystal Glass along with their Big Boy Brush. And I placed my first bead um, sort of halfway down the natural nail. And then I just bring that up over the nail form and just pat that into place. And just keep working with it until I'm happy with the length and shape. I will be going in with a um, a glitter on this nail. And oh my god, it's the most beautiful autumn glitter you'll ever see in your life. Um, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so I am going to work really, really thin with this nail. Once I've done my free edge, I will then place a small bead um, at the cuticle area and... Just remember, if you're working with glitter, if you're going to encapsulate anything, just work really, really thin on your base. I'm then going to go out and sculpt the rest of the nails. So again, placing my first bead um, at the free edge of the natural nail and just pushing that down slightly onto the natural nail so that it all joins together nicely and using the side of my brush and the belly of my brush to manipulate that up over the nail form into the desired shape and length. I'm not very good at um, sculpting and actually getting a really nice good shape. That's where the file is my best friend. Um, I see so many nail techs that can just sculpt a nail and it's just like the perfect shape with hardly any file in it. It's so unfair, but hopefully one day I'll get there. But for now, I'm happy with what I'm doing. It's fine. Um, so yeah, again, place my first bead, 
bring that up over the nail form into the desired length and shape and then I'll place my second bead just over the top of it and then my third bead is the cuticle bead and then I will just if I need to just keep adding acrylic if it's not thick enough um don't ever be scared to add more acrylic I know you see some nail technicians who can do it in one bead or two beads but that isn't a must you do not have to do it in one bead don't ever compare yourself to anyone else you do however and whatever works for you and we all work differently we all have different ways of working whatever works for you as long as it's safe and your clients nails are, la nails are lasting then don't worry about it you just do you so i'm just going to go in and finish off sculpting out the rest of the nails doing exactly the same so i'll let you guys watch this So once I finished sculpting that one, um, the pinky one was ready to be pinched. So I just apply my pinching tool to that nail and then I will pinch all of the other nails as well when they are ready. So you'll know when they're ready because they go matte and they go quite warm. Um, and they're not quite solid, but they're not squishy, if that makes sense. If you apply your um, pinching tool and the acrylic isn't ready, it will sort of squish all the acrylic up from the sides and give you really flat sides and just really misshape your nails so make sure that your acrylic is set enough before going in with your pinching tool or else you'll just ruin the whole set and it will be really annoying I've done it so many times being impatient and I just place that and this just gives it a really nice pinch this helps with strength as well and then I'm going to finish off by sculpting the thumbnail So once I'd pinched all of the nails and they were all fully set, I then went in and just file over the pinky nail. Um, I'm going to be applying glitter, as I said before, and I don't want this nail to be too bulky. And I did do it a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to go in and just remove some of that bulk. Um, and then I do go in and file the rest of the nails as well. So when I do file the nails, I use a 100 grit nail file and I file the side walls, the free edge and the cuticle area and also the surface of the nail just to give it a nice, make sure it's got a nice shape, make sure my edges are nice and sharp. I cannot stand round edges on sort of ballerina or coffin or tapered square nails. I love them to be nice and flat so that the corners of them are really sharp. Um, making sure the cuticle area is nice and flush. And I do this to every single nail. I didn't keep it all in because it was getting a very, very long video. And I also buff over using a white buffing block to remove the scratches. And then I will get rid of the dust with my nail brush. Now I'm going to go back in to the pinky and put this beautiful glitter on. This is the 
Galaxy Shards number five, not number four, like I said, it is number five. It's just autumn in a packet. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, to apply this, I pick up a small wet bead of acrylic and just dip it into the glitter, place it at the cuticle area. I always start at the cuticle area when I'm doing glitter. I don't know why, but that's just something I do. And then if I find there's any sort of sparse areas that don't have enough glitter, I'll just put my brush um, in the glitter without any acrylic on it and just sort of pat that in to the wet acrylic that's already on the nail. Just look at that glitter. Honestly, this oh, just screams autumn. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'll work that up the nail and then I will wait for that to set before going in with any clear because if I was to go in with clear acrylic now, then all that glitter would just move about the nail. So always make sure if you're encapsulating glitter, one, you work nice and thin and two, you wait for it to set before going in and encapsulating it. So I was going to use a um, coloured acrylic on these nails, but we decided we didn't actually like the colour of the acrylic. So once I had filed them, I did have to go back in and just build up the apex um, and the thickness of the nail using the clear acrylic again. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go in with clear acrylic and build that nail up to make sure it's nice and strong. If I'd have left it the way it was, they would have just snapped really, really quickly and very easily. So I will go in and just build these nails up. And then again, I will go in and file all of the nails. Here I'm just going in with clear acrylic and just encapsulating that glitter, making sure that all of the glitter is fully encapsulated. If your glitter has gone matte, that is how you'll know you have got all of that glitter. So make sure your glitter goes matte once you've encapsulated it. If it hasn't, just go back in with a little bit more acrylic. If you don't encapsulate it enough, you will end up just filing down to the glitter and filing it all off. So it's best to make sure that you do have enough acrylic on the nail. Now I'm just going in and just filing over these nails again, um, doing exactly the same as I did before, making sure that the shape is nice and neat, making sure the cuticle area is nice and flush and there's no lumps or bumps in the nails and then buffing over with a white buffing block. I'm not going to keep all of the filing in here because obviously you've seen it twice now on the same video. <laughs>
So now we're going to move on to the fun part. We are going to decorate these beautiful nails. So I'm going in here on the ring finger using this beautiful nude coffee colour from the Nail Lounge collection. I can't actually remember the name, but I will find out and leave it in the link below. If it's not there right now, um, as you're watching this, it will be tomorrow. Um, but I will try and find out today for you. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of that to the ring finger. And then I'm going in here with probably my favourite colour of the entire collection of nail polishes I own. And this is the Nail Edge Collections Coffee Mocha 09. And it is just perfect for autumn. It's perfect for Halloween. It's perfect for whenever you want because it's such a beautiful colour. And I'm going to apply a thin layer of that to the middle finger and also the index and the thumb. Once I've done this, we cured this for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. If you're using a UV lamp, always make sure you cure for two minutes. Once that's cured, I'm going in with a second coat and this is where I was absolutely fuming because I didn't realise how out of shot I was. So I do apologise for that. I think you can just about see what I'm doing, but I do really apologise for that. Um, so yeah, going in with a second coat and again, going to cure that for 30 seconds LED, two minutes UV. I'm then going to go in with the Nail Lounge Collection Ultimate Gloss Top Coat and Top Coat this beautiful. I just love that nail so much. It's like, oh, it's just beautiful. We're just going to top coat the pinky, the index and also the thumb because on the middle finger and the ring finger, I am going to be doing a little bit of nail art and I will be filing some of the nail and I didn't want these... Um, nails to get any dust or anything stuck to them because of the tacky layer so I thought I'd just top coat those now and get those done out of the way before going in with the nail art so I'm using the Nail Lounge Collection Ultimate Gloss Top Coat and we're going to cure this for 60 seconds in LED and again two minutes in UV and this is such an amazing top coat honestly I love this top coat so much I will leave links and discount codes for everything in the description box below so make sure you check them out So on the ring finger, we decided to do a sort of cheetah leopard printy type design just around the cuticle area. So I am applying um, Model One's foil gel. I think that's what it's called. Um, and this, you cure this under your UV lamp and it's really, really sticky um, for, to press foils in. So I'm just applying random dots at the cuticle area of the ring finger and then random dots all over the middle finger nail. Then we're going to cure this for one to two minutes. I find curing for two minutes, even under LED, it sticks better. Then I'm going to press in using my holographic gold foil from Glitter Arty Nails, beautiful foil. Then I'm going to take my... Um, Indigo Nails Master, I think it's a 07 brush, I will double check that. And I'm just using um, some black gel polish and just going around random little bits of the foil and then doing some random little dots around. And it just looks so cool, I love it. I think it's really, really cute. Do that to all of the little dots on both nails. Then we're going to cure that for 30 seconds under Ellie. D. Two minutes for UV.
Once that gel polish was set, I'm then going over the nails using the Gel Bottle Ink Rubber Base. And this is just a really thick um, base coat and I just find it perfect for encapsulating things. But also when you do a design like this, you do get, if you put your top coat on, you do get little bumps. This is really, really good for that. So I apply it to both nails, a generous amount, and then cure this for one minute under LED. Again, two minutes for UV. Then once that's cured, wipe away the tacky layer and then I'm just going to file over this nail. Because we've applied the base, it's you're not going to have any problems um, with chipping or anything like that from the gel polish underneath. So it doesn't matter about filing and also we haven't gone in and top coated yet either. So we can seal the nail that way as well. Get rid of the dust and then I'm going to go in and top coat these two nails again using the Nail Lounge Collection's Ultimate Gloss Top Coat. And that is us done. I just thought this set was super cute, super funky, and definitely giving me those autumn vibes. So I really, really hope you like this one, guys. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I've got lots more coming your way. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye!